Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Jeremiah chapter 33, this is the Amplified Version. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the second time, while he was still shut up in the court of the guard, saying, Thus says the Lord, who made the earth, the Lord who formed it to establish it. The Lord is his name. Call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things, fenced in and hidden, which you do not know. Do not distinguish and recognize, have knowledge of and understand. For thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the houses of this city and the houses of the kings of Judah, which are torn down to make a defense against the siege mounds and before the sword. They, the besieged Jews, are coming in to fight against the Chaldeans, and they, the houses, will be filled with the dead bodies of men, whom I shall slay in my anger and my wrath. For I have hidden my face in indignation from this city because of all their wickedness. Behold, in the future, restored Jerusalem, I will lay upon it health and healing, and I will cure them and will reveal to them the abundance of peace, prosperity, security, stability, and truth. And I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to be reversed, and will rebuild them as they were at first. And I will cleanse them from all the guilt and iniquity by which they have sinned against me. And I will forgive all their guilt and iniquities by which they have sinned and rebelled against me. And Jerusalem shall be to me a name of joy, a praise and a glory before all the nations of the earth that hear of all the good I do for it. And they shall fear and tremble because of all the good and all the peace, prosperity, security, and stability I provide for it. Thus says the Lord, Yet again there shall be heard in this place of which you say, It is a desolate waste, without man and without beast, even in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem that are desolate, without man and without inhabitant and without beast. There shall be heard again the voice of joy and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, the voices of those who sing as they bring sacrifices of thanksgiving into the house of the Lord. Give praise and thanks to the Lord of hosts, for the Lord is good, for his mercy and kindness and steadfast love endure forever. For I will cause the captivity of the land to be reversed, and return to be as it was at first, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, In this place which is desolate, without man and without beast, and in all its cities, there shall again be dwellings and pastures of shepherds, resting their flocks. In the cities of the hill country, in the cities of the lowland, in the cities of the south, the Negev, in the land of Benjamin, in the places around Jerusalem, and in the cities of Judah, shall flocks pass again under the hands of him who counts them, says the Lord. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will fulfill the good promise I have made to the house of Israel and the house of Judah. In those days and at that time will I cause a righteous branch, the Messiah, to grow up to David, and he shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In those days Judah shall be saved, and Jerusalem shall dwell safely. And this is the name by which it will be called. The Lord is our righteousness, our rightness, our justice. For thus says the Lord, David shall never fail to have a man descended to sit on the throne of the house of Israel, nor shall the Levitical priests fail to have a man descended to offer burnt offerings before me and to burn cereal offerings and to make sacrifices continually all day long. And the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah saying, Thus says the Lord, If you can break my covenant with the day and my covenant with the night, so that there should not be day and night in their season, 
Then can also my covenant be broken with David my servant, so that he shall not have a son to reign upon his throne, and my league will be my league be broken also with the Levitical priests my ministers, as the hosts of the stars of the heavens cannot be numbered, nor the sand of the sea be measured. So will I multiply the offspring of David my servant, and the Levites who minister to me. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, saying, Have you not noticed that these people, the Jews, are saying, The Lord has cast off the two families, Israel and Judah, which he chose? Thus, my people have despised themselves in relation to God as his covenant people, so that they are no more a nation in their own sight. Thus says the Lord, If my covenant with day and night does not stand, and if I have not appointed the ordinances of the heavens and the earth, the whole order of nature, then will I also cast away the descendants of Jacob and David my servant, and will not choose one of his offspring to be ruler over the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. For I will cause their captivity to be reversed, and I will have mercy, kindness, and steadfast love on and for them. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.